And now, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show, all about helping you be a more informed consumer and uh, just more street smart out there. We love to help you win in any marketplace. That's what we do here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we've got a great lineup for you today. We've got Brian Gordon on deck. Brian Gordon with Tactical Society. Uh, he's got a cigar line that he's launching. Uh, he's also a firearms trainer, concealed uh, carry permit trainer as well, and a longtime friend of the program. We're going to be kicking off with Martin Gramatica as well, uh, former USF uh, Buccaneer Super Bowl winner, and now uh, head coach of the uh, indoor soccer league team here in Tampa Bay. Bay Martin's going to be right up on the program. Uh, before we do, we want to jump into a couple of our hot listings. We like to feature our real estate listings live on air. Uh, we help our sellers profit more, sell faster, utilizing our innovations with radio, TV, and internet marketing. Uh, we got a $10 million listing up here in North Carolina, the compliments of the Bill DeVore real estate team up uh, with Keller Williams in North Carolina. So 530 Heaton Forest Road. This is a gorgeous property, 8,000 square foot home, 20 acre property, magnificent country estate in the West western part of north carolina in the mountains of western north carolina uh, the home features a breakfast porch patio four fireplaces for those cool mountain evenings attached two car garage uh, expansive stone driveway and we're also splitting that up now so you got two different properties on site you got horse barn uh, horse and equestrian barns there for the the uh, equestrian lovers beautiful property 530 heaton forest road cashiers north carolina listing complement of B bill devore real estate group with Keller Williams Realty. Also, a beautiful million dollar listing here in Tampa uh, from the Platinum MVP team at 2803 Safe Harbor Drive in Tampa. This is a million dollar listing in a gated community. Uh, beautiful property, corner lot. You got a pool, spiral staircase, elevator inside, 5,200 square feet. The estates at White Trout Lake, spiral staircase to the second floor, granite countertops, new appliances, pool, heated spa, and a large fenced in corner lot great opportunity you can see all of our listings at platinum mvp team dot kw dot com this is god's country all right martin grammatica welcome back sir hey appreciate it man good to see you brian yeah uh, brian, brian. Yeah, we got a Brian out there, right? Yeah, so yeah. It's confusing. <laughs> that's, that's I get called Brian all the time. We <laughs> call worse. Hey, but. you said I, I played at USF, so I had to get you back. Yeah, there you go. I, I went I to said Kansas that. State, man. I went to Kansas State. That's when my did brother. I say you? I did that. Yeah, at the beginning. Oh my gosh. I got to call you out, man. We, we go way I back. I didn't even. Yeah, we, sometimes we go so far back. I can call you out. You like can. That. I know. We go back to like the little league baseball <laughs> that's days, right, man. That's right. <laughs> gosh, that's so funny. I didn't realize that. Nah, so yeah, good. you played at Kansas State and were recruited by Jim Levitt. That's right. And there's that kind of the connection there from. Well, both of my brothers went to USF. My wife. Wife went to USF, so we're uh, it's a Bulls family, right? Except me, right? Right, there you go. <laughs> and now you're the head coach for the new indoor soccer league team. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that because that's a little bit new to me, too. Yeah, I'm excited about that. That's a new franchise. So the league uh, has two expansion teams, and this year it, it was us, which we announced uh, three weeks ago, and Orlando's and is being announced this week. So, wow, uh, so yeah, so it'll be a, it'll be exciting. I, I haven't coached indoor. You know, and nobody really has coached indoor in, in a while because they right. haven't been in Tampa. The old Rowdies had an indoor team. Ah. Uh, but we're going to play at the Yingling Center, which USF old Sun Dome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. And it's going to be – the best thing about it is two teams. So we have a, a male and female team. Oh, cool. And part of the deal, the head coach has to coach both of them, which I'm excited about because yeah. there's, there's not that many opportunities for our women – when they're done with college to play locally you know you yeah. have the new league now you have europeans have more more professional leagues for women but for that that one that one player that maybe can't make those leagues but wants to stay competitive and play at a professional level we have the indoor league and i'm yeah. excited about that that's super cool man that's a great opportunity for the, for the youth to look forward to and to kind of look up to these these young women and and of course the men on the men's side and uh so is there going to be a war on i4 again every year now <clears throat> Yeah, see, that, that I'm sure they're going to go and call it that, but I, 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 I don't like that analogy when it comes to sports. Okay. Because our men and women that really go to war, that right, we, exactly. we have to respect 
what they do because that's Great much point. more important than a, than a game. Great point. So I hate calling it that. So if they want to call it that, I'm not going to be a part of it. But we're, we're going to have a rivalry. That's for there sure. There you go. I want to kick the crap out of them anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that's going to happen, but I'm not going to call that. Well, that. that's a good perspective to have. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you, you mentioned that because it is. I mean, hats off to our men and women that actually go to war. Uh, you know, they're so much more important than some of these politicians passing these crazy bills and pushing this, this uh, decentralization of our monetary policy and trillions of dollars being thrown away i mean yeah these these are the people that really deserve the the accolades and the recognition are our, our, our men and women in, in uniform and the ones that actually paid the, the the major sacrifices with their life absolutely and we see it every day uh, you know with our men and women coming back with injuries or you know in my foundation that's what we do and we see it every time we talk to charlie Lemon, one of our first recipients you know he gave uh his lost his best friend wow. and, and and lost both legs wow and it's the nicest happiest most thankful person in the world yeah and i was like man if i lost both my legs i'd probably be the most bitter person but right uh he's amazing so for guys like that in in, in their respect like we can't call that uh, a rivalry that more yeah, exactly than that. more than that you know that's exactly right they need to kind of de you know <laughs> change that term around uh so let's get to business here so martin now you are um a uh, an executive uh, a, a vp with marketing i believe for uh lifeguard imaging now yeah, so I'm uh, the VP of Business Development. So uh, what we do at Lifeguard Imaging is not being done pretty much hardly anywhere in the country. So we're one of five uh, offices that do what we do, which are preventative scans for heart disease and cancer. Um, our medicine is phenomenal when you look at our healthcare, but it's more reactive and yeah. not proactive. And also they want to treat you, not cure you. Right. You know, because that's where exactly. they make their money. That's right. With our ca in our case, you're going to come in asymptomatic. You just want to know what's going on. And that's what we're telling people. You're going to know. You're either going to know early where you can survive it or we catch it. Hopefully there's nothing going on. But if there is, we catch it early enough where you can treat it yeah. with good quality of life. Or you can wait till the symptoms come. Yeah. And now it's either a heart attack. It's either stage three or four cancer where now you have to get your affairs in order because there's not much quality of life, life left. So right. too late. You waited too late. And exactly. now it's stage three and it's, right. yeah, that's challenging, man. I've had several of my friends, you know, I've told them about lifeguard imaging and have a few people reach out. So hopefully I'll talk to you off air who that is, if they've actually reached out to you, uh, some of them, but, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a no brainer to me. I mean, it's a no brainer. You're, you're looking at everything from the uh, chin down, basically. Uh, you're, you're looking at the major organs. I think you said on one of the shows, 90% of all of the uh, ailments come from that area. So, yeah, so we're seeing from the, basically the chin down to the pelvis and so we're looking at the heart and that's where we see the calcium score we can see how much if there's blockage now if there's a significant amount of blockage you know people should go see a cardiologist to get more testing done and then from there we go down all the way down to the pelvis where we see all our inter interior organs where 90 percent of the deadliest cancers that's where they they're in that area so that's right. the mid region is what where they are so that's why we scan that that region yeah you know, and you look at your lungs, you check out the lungs, you know, hey, are you a smoker? How long have you been smoking? <laughs> uh, are, you know, there's, there's all these different things to think about. And I would say also, because I interview a lot of attorneys on this show, and when I talk to the attorneys, I talk to estate planning attorneys. We're talking about estate plans, wills, trust, uh, you know, probate avoidance. Um, so a lot of times it's not for you. It's for your family members. It's for those that you're going to be leaving behind. It's for the children that may not have a father or a mother uh, if you don't have those arrangements in that case. But also with Lifeguard Imaging and Martine Grammatica, uh, it's, you know, it's a peace of mind as well. It's is a hundred percent a peace of mind, but that, that's a great point you're you're making, Brandon. Because you always look at okay, we saved somebody's life, and I had a personal friend of mine come come get a scan. She didn't want a scan because she was there for her husband. Her husband wasn't feeling well, and finally I said, "Look, you drove all this way, you're gonna get a scan." And we found that she had the issue, ninety five percent blockage. Wow. Went in, got a stent, and survived it. About a, three weeks ago, we were in Colorado watching our kids play soccer. And she, we just had her on a another and a, did a show with her, and she said, "I don't know if I would have made that yeah. trip. I don't know if I would have been there for that trip." Exactly. So we look at it, and it trickles down, like you said, it's family, friends, kids. So you affect more than yourself. That's why, as an adult, we can't be selfish. We've got to find out so we can treat it, and not for ourselves, but for our family, our friends, because that's those are the ones that 
are left behind suffering. Right. You know, so that's why that's a great point that you make, Brandon, because that's why we encourage everyone to come in because it it affects more than yourself. It affects your whole family and all your friends. Yeah. And you got a great team over there, centrally located. There's no excuses. We're we're here we are. We're taking away all the excuses, right? We got a <laughs> you got a great uh, offer that you're going to make here in just a minute, but you 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 know, the location right there on Rocky Point, centrally located. So there goes that excuse. Right. Right? It's centrally right. located, easy to get to, great parking, walk in, and the staff is super friendly and uh, just a great opportunity. And then you do have a special offer for our listeners as well so any listener of your show brandon they can you know call in and say the quarterback show and or use your name and then uh they'll have a complimentary coronary artery scan which will determine if there's any calcium in their heart from there they're they're going to meet with a patient advocate yep. which will explain our programs we have a legacy program and the legacy program we scan our patients yearly so the first scan that gives you invaluable information yep. it's not the most important scan at times because that's your baseline baseline so if everything's fine we hope that everybody's scan comes unremarkable which means everything's 100 percent perfect then from there every year we scan you so if there's anything different in year two three or four or five now you're catching it at the earliest stage and right. now you can do a deep deeper monitoring to see it, it, what it is so right. that's the thing our patient advocates will explain everything um that way there's no questions you know if we we want to make sure everybody feels comfortable in our office because we understand that when you're going in the scan there is a little bit of anxiety because you don't know yeah you know when i did my scan i've never done anything like this before so right. i don't know i feel great but what if you know and, and we yeah. see it all the time that when you look at a patient and say oh they're they, they're great shape that you could tell they work out you could tell they eat right and those are the ones with heart disease yeah and then you can see others that maybe don't take care of themselves as much that you think, okay, this is going to be one of those high scores possibly. And right. they have zero calcium yep. because heart disease and cancer, they don't care. They don't, it doesn't discriminate. Right. It doesn't matter how good a shape you are, what you eat. Obviously the, the health you are, the, the better it is for your health. But at times those are the high scores that we see. It looks it's, can it, be deceiving uh, in other it, words, right? Exactly. Exactly. It's like that multimillionaire that's, you know, got ripping his shorts and a tink top shirt on and sandals or whatever, you know, that's because that's they have so much money. They don't care what they look yeah, like, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Martin Grammatica lifeguard imaging right here, uh, on the consumer quarterback show. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, but, uh, when we come back, by the way, let me give the number real quick. 813-917-1894. If you want to go ahead and take action, if you're one of those types of people that is an action taker and you see an opportunity uh, he's got the uh, opportunity for the free coronary uh, artery uh, scan uh, with lifeguard imaging 813-917-1894 just call or text that number consumerqb.com when we come back i want to ask martin if he would share some stories so story time with martin maybe take us inside the locker room somewhere what case state could be uh, at the uh, buccaneers one of the best teams and a lot of people say in history one of the best teams uh, of all that time. defense for sure the defense for sure absolutely <laughs> so we're going to have story time with martin Grimm coming up on the other side of this break. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you've been listening to the phenomenal Brandon Rhymes, the Consumer Quarterback Show. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-917-1894, online at ConsumerQB.com. Ian Beckles here with my man, Brandon Rhymes, a.k.a. the Real Estate Quarterback. Brandon, what's happening with the market? Thanks, Ian. Any of our listeners out there, we'll offer you a 2% listing for the first three callers that reach out to the hotline, 813-917-1894. Call or text the hotline, 813-917-1894. Also, a great opportunity for folks out there looking for a part-time gig, maybe a side hustle, is Keller Williams Real Estate School, powered by Kaplan. Reach out if you'd like more information on how we have a free real estate school for you, online class, get licensed, and start referring business in, or maybe make a new career. 813-917-1894, ConsumerQB.com for our syndicated radio and TV show on 80 outlets worldwide, ConsumerQB.com, or our real estate website at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. That's PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. Dot com And please follow us online at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram, Twitter, Gitter, and check out our YouTube channel, Brandon Rhymes Realty. Make it a great day. 
Hey, Brandon Rimes here for Cleaning Commandos here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Cleaning Commandos are hiring, and they're offering competitive wages, flexible hours, relaxed atmosphere, and a sign-on bonus. Reach out if you'd like a career with the Cleaning Commandos here in Tampa Bay. Info at cleaningcommandosllc.com or call 813-750-0550, 813-750-0550. Cleaning Commandos, Consumer Quarterback Show. Have you desired more income and more freedom in your life? Now is your time. Keller Williams Realty has just launched our own real estate school, and you can get licensed for free. I'm Brandon Rimes, host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. And for the first three people who reach out, I will personally coach you. 813-917-1894. Call or text 813-917-1894. ConsumerQB.com. ConsumerQB.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. And we're back. Brandon Rimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty, always helping you win in your real estate deal, certified negotiation expert, three times published author. And when it comes to real estate, we like to feature our listings live on the show, and we help our sellers profit more and sell faster. So we get a hot listing here at 1148 Glenwood Drive in Dunedin. Uh, this is a property compliments of Michelle on our team, and also she feels in as the uh, host of the show so if you heard the show about a week ago uh, michelle was hosting the show while i was on vacation in the florida keys uh, we got a property here at glenwood drive in dunedin that's a gorgeous property uh, right at four hundred ninety nine thousand dollars renovated home three bedrooms two bath about 1600 square feet beautiful property right here in one of the most popular uh, little cities in all of all of florida or america and in that case dunedin florida people love dunedin it's got a nice uh, nightlife downtown you got a beautiful little pool here great Great opportunity two car garage at 1148 Glenwood Drive in Dunedin, Florida. Fireplace looks like it's an actual wood burning fireplace. Uh, kitchen, nice, beautiful uh, kitchen with the lighter colors. Desirable lofty pine estates just two miles from downtown Dunedin. Beautiful property right here in Tampa Bay on Glenwood Drive in Dunedin. Uh, also, 1605 South Georgia Avenue in South Tampa. Uh, this property is a uh, completely renovated home uh, in South Tampa, Palmasia, close to Hyde Park Village as well, and a great opportunity at almost 1,500 square feet, three bedrooms, two bath, walking distance to Bayshore Boulevard, 1605 South Georgia Avenue in Tampa, and you can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. And you can also buy dirt. We've got about a dozen vacant land listings as well. All right, we're in studio here with Martin Gramatica. He is the new head coach for the Indoor Soccer League. He's also business development uh, for Lifeguard Imaging. And he also does the uh, Spanish uh, radio broadcast for the Buccaneer football. Yeah, I, stay, I try to stay pretty busy. <laughs> you are busy, man. You're a busy guy. Yeah, yeah. That's fun, coaching your kids and, and, and uh, all that fun stuff in soccer. And Didn't you guys win a championship, too, this year? We did, so that, that's, so we ended up playing in uh, Colorado. So, nice. So, yeah, so the thing with that, for me, I'm doing things that I love to do, so I don't feel yeah. like I'm working. You know, it's like it's busy, yeah. exhausting at times, but oh, it, nothing feels like work. Yeah, do what you love, but call it work. That's what the song just said, the Buy Dirt song. <laughs> Look at that, perfect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't even hear it. All right, so we talked a little bit about story time. Can you, Do you have anything that comes to mind? take us in the locker rooms i you know i kind of like to throw these out there you know people a lot of people don't they don't really see what goes on inside of a college rocker room or a professional locker room and it's kind of a, a way we might be able to peel back the uh the onion a little bit yeah do no, you have any, sure. anything that comes in mind we can share well one of the uh one of the i guess one of the coolest or craziest stories was uh my rookie year here in tampa so the whichever round you get drafted you buy breakfast for the whole team okay so you know my year was uh booger mcfarland went first so he bought breakfast you know and we had a caterer that would uh, bring the food because at the old one buck we didn't have a cafeteria so they cater all the food in oh yeah <clears throat> so that saturday morning practice they wanted something different so booger got his skated then sean king went so i went in the third round so it was my week to do it and they, they're like ah don't get Ho jose jose was the normal caterer and i'm like i go jose can you get get the food and just make it look like it's not you <laughs> so i got lazy you know instead of me going somewhere else i said jose bring it in apparently the linemen weren't happy uh oh because then they found out it was jose they're like we told them not to do jose so they're all looking for me 
Okay. I don't know if they were going to take me to the pole, kill me, whatever, you know. <laughs> Throw you in an ice bucket or they something. They do. You know, yeah. Back then, you could do all that. Yeah, so, yeah. So luckily, uh, Warren Sapp's a uh, good friend still and uh, yeah. liked me as a rookie. Yeah. He stands up in the middle of the locker room. He's like, hey, nobody touches my kicker, so leave him alone. He's our <laughs> kicker, blah, blah. So then I'm, like, I'm thinking like I'm a little, you know. I come out of the, uh, the the locker like, hey, here I am now. Who's going to touch me now? You know, Warren, <laughs> Warren was, was our leader. Yeah. But uh, it worked out great because that weekend we ended up winning with a field goal. So nice. Uh, so my sap always had my back. But it was a funny story. I, I that's what happens when you're and I tell my kids, don't be lazy. Right. And do the things right. I try to be lazy by just saying, hey, Jose, change it around. And I got caught. But, yeah. uh, but I, luckily, uh, Sap saved me. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. man. That's funny. Yeah. It's, it's it's so always interesting, that locker room dynamic and, and how, how things play out and, you know, who steps up. and. But yeah. that's what I miss the most when people ask, you know, after being retired since 2008. Right. Like, what do I miss the most? And, like, yeah, the games are great. The travel is fun and all that. But the locker room. Because. Right. The, and I think the locker rooms changed though, because with our locker room, not nobody had cell phones, so right. we had to talk to each other, we had to communicate. So every, every day was who jokes and messing with somebody, pulling a prank on somebody. Yeah, that's how we entertained ourselves. Right. But n- n- you, nobody took it personal. If you took it personal, now they're gonna mess with you all year. So, right. and now I feel like everybody just sits on their locker, plays on their phone. So I don't know if they st- the locker room still the same, but I right. miss the old locker room. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Those are good times. Those are things that you remember. I mean, even obviously till today. Uh, if you just joined us, we're talking with Martin Gramatica here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. He's the business development uh, specialist and, and VP of business development for Lifeguard Imaging. And when we think about Lifeguard Imaging, I can actually say uh, firsthand experience as well. I went down, I did the cardiac scan. Of course, my scan uh, showed some irregularities because I did have a bypass uh, almost two years ago. October will be two years ago. Uh, but feeling great. Everything's uh, wonderful there. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's such a great way to think about it, uh, Martin, when you think about having that preventative scan, you know, that, that's the key is just having preventative medicine as you kind of led in with uh, in the beginning of the show. So much of today's medicine is about treating the, the, the you know, not the cure, but the actual treating the um, losing the word there, but the, you well, know, the, the, symptoms. the, effect, the symptoms. That's yes. right. Right. And that's the thing. Uh, are there scanners like ours? Yeah. Every hospital has a scan like ours possibly, but we ours it's upgraded because it has low radiation, and then it's like Good eight. Point. Yeah, so we have the low, low radiation software and thin slice. So we, we even go above and beyond because we, we don't want our patients to have extra radiation. But <clears throat> the hospitals could use their CT scans to be preventative. Right. But the only way you get a scan when you go to a hospital, or you go to a doctor's office, you have to have a symptom. So, right. you know, <clears throat> my I felt something. Okay, they'll check or they'll check your chest or my you know they could hear your lungs and they'll check they'll, they'll check your lungs if they, if they hear something out of the ordinary. But a full body scan like we're doing yeah hospitals aren't doing that because they don't right. they're not being proactive they, you just have to tell them where your symptom is and they'll scan that part of your body so what we do we scan from the from the neck down to the pelvis and we obviously get the heart but we get every inter- internal organ in that mid region where 90 percent of the cancers uh, uh that's where are found right yeah absolutely and uh, you also have the other one um that checks the um losing that word too. the virtual colonoscopy colonoscopy <laughs> yes that's right that's a that that's an amazing uh feature f- from from our scanner because the 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 traditional colonoscopy which we need to have we have to have colonoscopies there you have a six foot probe going in your colon which is a dangerous procedure at itself right and you're being put under right uh, but you have to have it done you have to be proactive when it comes to that and and, and they started at 50 45 and they're thinking about even lowering it to 40 because they're finding so much more cases right <clears throat> with our virtual the insertion is only two and a half inches you're not put under anesthesia yep. and then all we're going to do is blow a little air in your stomach go through the scanner you and once you're in and out now we see the outer and inner colon yeah there's been cases where patients have come out of the you know the exam with a clean colonoscopy that have passed away from colon cancer because the, the cancer was just on the outer skin yes. and it seeped in. Right. So we see it all. The only thing is if we do find a polyp, you have to go the conventional way to get it removed. But right. now they're not searching, they're not looking for it. They know exactly where it is, they go, they biopsy it, and, and then it, it's a lot safer. But <clears throat> with our case, we take a lot of those risks out. The right. searching, you know, with a six foot probe, and then the anesthesia, which is a huge thing. We had a, yeah. one of the girls at the office had one done and she was back to work in 20 minutes 
Yeah. It, it's incredible. I was in and out same day, and it was like nothing happened. I mean, it was great. Well, I forgot you came in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, we had to reschedule, but so you finally got it, it done. It went in. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I got to give you, I, I, who schedules one after 4th of July? I know, right? <laughs> you, who, 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 you're going to eat. I had to Come reschedule on, that one. <laughs> yeah. uh, where do you want folks to find you, Martin? Best place online, the website? Yes, yes. Uh, lifeguardimaging.com. Okay. Uh, we're on, we're, like you said, Rocky Point Drive. I mean, very simple, easy to get to. The, yeah, just find us there. All right, awesome. Thanks for coming in. Always good catching up. Appreciate it, buddy. Good seeing you. My pleasure. All right, taking a quick break. Coming back with Brian Gordon, Tactical Society here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, consumerqb.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. Please make sure to send him all of your real estate deals and subscribe to the Consumer Quarterback Show podcast on iTunes and Spotify or check out our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-917-1894 online at ConsumerQB.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, we're back here in studio. Brandon Rimes, I'm your host of the show. I'm hey, really excited to be uh, speaking at an event next week. If anybody's in the real estate industry hearing this and uh, they're related, I'm on a panel of experts over at uh, Whiskey Cake over in International Plaza. going to be on a panel of experts talking about real estate, talking about team building and how you grow your team. And uh, really excited about that. Got a panel discussion, networking lunch, 9.30 a.m. over at Whiskey Cake on West Shore Boulevard. So pretty cool stuff. Excited about that. And uh, we always like to feature our real estate listing. So think about it. If you're selling a property and you're thinking about listing a property, do you want to list with an average realtor who's going to do average things like putting it on the MLS? Or would you rather list with a team that has the number one real estate company in the world, 181,000 agents worldwide? Uh, our local offices had $2.1 billion in sales. And we actually feature and list our properties live on air on our syndicated talk show, seen and heard by thousands of people every day, syndicated on 85 outlets worldwide like Apple TV. Amazon Fire TV, Roku, of course, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, all of those sites. Uh, so we like to feature our listings. We've got 507 South Prospect Avenue, commercial property in Clearwater, gorgeous property, two-story property, 12 rooms, two bathrooms, and you got an office space for potential rental. 507 South Prospect Avenue in Clearwater, right off of Gulf to Bay, that's Highway 60. you got a new roof, new HVAC systems, and also 10 minutes from Clearwater Beach. Great office opportunity to own real estate right here in beautiful Tampa Bay. Uh, we also have a property at 14663 Village Glen Circle uh, in Tampa. This is a, another beautiful listing of ours, two bedrooms, two and a half bath. Uh, this is in Carrollwood Village. Gorgeous, completely remodeled with an outdoor pool and kitchen, covered lanai and outdoor shower, master bathroom, uh, features a jacuzzi tub, sauna, and a tanning bed, screened-in pool and spa outdoor kitchen beautiful property you can see all of our listings at platinum mvp team dot kw dot com and we'll give a quick shout out to our friends at discovery golf cars discoverygolfcars.com uh, let them know that the real estate quarterback sent you if you're in tampa uh, you talk to marty and if you're in clearwater you want to talk to ethan luster uh, they've got lots of makes and models got the easy go star ev cushman you also can rent or buy. They offer mobile financing, or I'm sorry, a financing and mobile repair, that is. And if you're getting a golf car, uh, reach out to our friends at discoverygolfcars.com. Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. You heard about them right here on 860 The Answer or 1025 The Bone. All right, we got our friend Brian Gordon back in the house, Tactical Society. What's going on, man? Not much, man. I'm glad to be back, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, Thanks I miss you. In. Miss you last week. Yeah, yeah, we're down in the Keys getting some fishing done, getting some lobstering done, some snorkeling. Good, man. Yeah. Got a nice little yeah. tan and everything. Yeah, I did. I put on a layer. <laughs> put on a layer there. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, man, things are good and uh, rocking and rolling. You know, the market's shifting in real estate, though. A little yeah. Bit of, a little bit of a shift. I'm sure you've heard about that. Yeah, I know you're killing it. Yeah, we're trying. You yeah, know, man. we're getting things done. Good, good. A little bit of a shift, though. It's a little bit harder. Uh, so I'm going to hold up these beautiful, beautiful 2A uh what do we call them here two-way guards right yep second amendment guns and guards look at that 
folks, if you can see that. Yeah, I think I got them upside down. So this is your new line, right? Yeah, man. So I started that off, uh, been about almost a year, a little bit less than a year. Um, I decided to uh, combine both my passions of cigars and guns together, and here we go. Guns and Guards, Second Amendment Cigar. They're it's actually good. doing um, better than I expected, man. Really? So I'm super excited about that. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now, I'm not a smoker, but if I was, this would be one I would enjoy. Yeah, you would, man. That What you're holding is called the Connecticut. Okay. Um, that's one of the, one one of my favorites as well. It's not not too strong, not too light. Um, nice blend. That's cool, too. Yeah, I so like. we have three. We have that one, the uh, Barber Pole, which is the best of both worlds, is the mix between the Connecticut version and the uh, Maduro. So, yeah. It smells good, man. Yeah, man. Smells good. Yep. Now, are those manufactured uh, here in Tampa Bay and the United States? Yep, or? yep. They're they're actually hand rolled here in Tampa. Okay. So doing business right here and keep the business here at home, man. Nice. Yeah. Right here in Tampa Bay, I love yep. that. Growing the the local economy with every purchase. Yes, sir. What's the website for this company? So gunsandguards dot com. You can find it g u n s n g a r s dot com, or you can find it from my main website tacticalsociety.com and just follow the tabs and it'll bring you right to it as well cool yeah guns and guards man that's kind of that's kind of your life you know I, and i remember your story too you had uh, an unfortunate accident happen i believe yeah. it was your brother yep um do you want to share a little bit about yeah. that and kind I of mean, your passion I, I, I got into the business well i'm a marine so i've always been into uh protection you know i've always had a love for my country and um those that are in it despite what they look like what they sound like you know, I'm a, I'm a hardcore American. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I've always had the love for tactical, anything tactical, whether that be guns, whether that be equipment. And, um, like you said, unfortunate incident happened with my brother being murdered a few years back. And, um, it drove me to get, um, in a business to be able to help people protect themselves, family and their loved ones. So yeah. that's where the, the tactical, I mean, tactical society came from. And, um, you know, with the cigars as well, it was something I, I kind of did, to be honest, to kind of get my mind off of things. And um, I just, you know, figured that, hey, you know what, I might as well combine them both to make some money out of it. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's pretty cool, yeah. man. Quite the entrepreneur. Yeah, man. I, I, I got to stay busy, B. Yeah. I, I have to stay busy, man. And it, it, for me, when I got a little bit too much time on my hands is when I get myself in some trouble. So <laughs> okay. I, I, I stay busy, man, and, um, yeah. you know, keep my nose to the grindstone. Yeah, that's yep. good. Yeah, it's, yep. uh, you got that discipline from the Marines. Yes, sir. The yes, country. sir, man. And um, man, I think you know. Speaking of that, man, I think a lot. I, you know, a lot of countries that they they send their kids straight to to the military for a couple of years, man. Right. I, I think that would be good here in the United States. Not a bad I, idea, I, man. I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea at all, yeah, man. Got to have some kind of special exemption if you want out, but. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the idea. And by the way, just a couple of days ago was the one-year anniversary of the the debacle withdrawal from Afghanistan. Right, right, man. $85 billion worth of, of our taxpayer equipment, guns, tanks, vests, everything. Right. A lot of items that you sell. Yeah, not only that, but, man, they, they left some of our our, of our, uh, our boys and girls our back. Peeps. Yeah, our peeps they left back them, there, They left them back, man. So yeah. that's something I'll never forget. You know, that's kind of – that's something hard to forgive, man, especially having served. Yeah. You know, I know what it takes to, to, to that blood and sweat that goes into that. Yeah. And so, and there's you know. private groups running trips still. I was watching on Newsmax. I think at one of the one of the folks that was involved with one of these one of these nonprofit groups. He said we've run over a hundred. Uh, you know. Uh, what do you call them where you're extracting people you right know, extractions bringing people back still to this day a year later they're they're bringing americans back and, and people that were you know sympathetic to our cause that are under uh scrutiny now from the taliban and guess who controls bagram china right go figure unbelievable <laughs> it's almost like we have you know an inside job going on it's almost like you know somebody saved 10 percent for the big guy somewhere or something you know i don't know man <laughs> Yeah, it all it all goes back to China, doesn't it? It's a lot. A lot of it does. If you just joined us, we're talking with Brian Gordon here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tactical Society. Uh, he's got his cigar uh, brand as well, Guns and Gars. Uh, dot com. Now you also do uh, training as well, so concealed carry yep. things of that nature. Yeah, right? we do concealed carry. That's probably one of my um, my top ventures that brings a lot a, a lot of money into my my company. Yep. Um, we do those trainings on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I'm sorry, Wednesdays and Sundays of every week. Yep. So if someone's interested, they can go to tacticalsociety.com and uh, and sign up. Um, yeah, man, I think at this point, man, it's irresponsible not to have a concealed weapon permit. 
Exactly. I mean, yeah, yeah I've, you know, I definitely carry mine. I've, I have them in my backpack. I'll have them on me. I'll have them in yeah, different man. places, but at least I have it, you know, especially sometimes you go on these, these real estate deals and they're like, oh yeah, walk back here, check out this shed in the back. And I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. But right. I got my hand right here ready to go in case you pull something. Hey, and, and, B, that's, and that's, there's been a couple incidents here in Tampa, right. man. Right. Unfortunate incidents where real estate agents have gone in to homes with people, man, and bad things have happened. Yeah. So well, it's we not had, like we're making this up. Just a couple of weeks ago, we put out a, a, a mass, a group text to our team. Uh, there was some pervert type of guy going around to open houses, being inappropriate to women. Wow. Yeah, stuff like that. And, you know, one of the guys on the chain said, yeah, I'd like to be at that open house and have, you know, catch somebody doing that. Right. But, yeah, you know, it's it's a challenge because, you know, you, you have that situation and then you have these these shooters uh, situations as well. And you notice it, it, it's interesting. There was the one just a few weeks ago, I think it was 15 seconds after the mass shooting started uh the young guy in the in the i think it was at the mall was that at the mall one of the malls but he just he literally is a concealed permit holder he boom one shot kill right to the head right so ima imagine if he didn't have that how many more people probably would have been harmed or killed exactly you know yeah but they want to I mean, take our guns away think about 30 seconds a minute you talk right. about time slowing down you know, that's when time really slows down, when you need the police, you know, or you need an ambulance and you call and you're like, oh, man, that's what's taking them so long. It's only been three minutes. It's right. only been five minutes. And you're thinking, oh, this is taking forever. You know, the flip side of that is back when you're in, in algebra class or something in school. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, well, I guess that time would go fast, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, or go slow, too. But, yep. um, yeah, so, you know, the, the concealed carry and then the, the constant attack on the Second Amendment is really what frustrates me. And there's really just no... You know, they, they, they go to the same talking points every time with that Beto O'Rourke guy over in Texas. You know, what an idiot. Yeah, man. Um, you know, we have this conversation be quite frequently with, with regarding these guns, man. Um, I think it's something that's probably going to always be under, under attack. But I really don't. I don't see it going anywhere. The tyrants want people to be complicit. Right. They know that if we have the capacity to defend ourselves, they, then, then we're going to be less likely to fight back. And you saw some of these videos, too, going viral uh, with um, the uh, ATF showing up to doors. There was local police, actually, showing up to someone's doors asking this guy, hey, do you have this type of gun? Can you show us your guns? And he's like, he shuts the door in their face, I think, from the video I saw. And he's like, no, no why are you on my lawn? Why are you coming to my house asking me about what type of weapons I have? Wow. I didn't get a chance to see that one yet, but that's, yeah, that's strange. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very strange. And you had, you know, a couple deputies, there's a deputy in the yard or I can't remember if it's police or deputies, you know, sheriff's deputies, probably police more or less because the deputies kind of don't, don't like to play that game. The sheriffs, cause they're more County. Right. You know? Right. But, uh, but yeah, let's, let's take a quick break there. We'll leave it there. When we come back though, more with Brian Gordon, tactical society.com. Check him out online. Longtime friend of the program Two a guns and guards. He's got a cigar brand as well. And a great, great guy, entrepreneur here locally locally in Tampa Bay. We're taking a quick break. We'll be back. Plus our feel good story of the day. Uh, Little Leaguer dedicates ball to grandpa who taught him everything. Our feel good story coming up here after the break. Don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Grant Cardone and you've been listening to the phenomenal Brandon Rhymes, the consumer quarterback show. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-917-1894 online at consumerqb.com. Hey, Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, in studio with Martin Grammatica, Automatica Grammatica, that is, uh, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer Super Bowl winner, Lifeguard Imaging, lifeguardimaging.com, saving lives through early detection. Thanks for having me, Brandon. Yes, that's what we're doing at Lifeguard Imaging. You come in asymptomatic, and that's what we do. You're being proactive. You're coming in. We do a scan from the neck to the pelvis. It's a full body scan. It's a 3D image of every organ, and that's where 90% of the deadliest cancers are in our mid-region. So we can see everything but for your listeners we have a real good special we have a 599 dollars value absolutely complimentary they can come in for a coronary artery scan which will give you their calcium score 100 percent complimentary for your people very cool hey take them up on that offer 813-917-1894 call or text complimentary scan 813-917-1894 and check them out online lifeguardimaging.com 
Dennis Prager here for Brandon and Lindsey Rhymes, owners of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Buying, selling, investing in real estate, their nationwide Keller Williams network makes them the best team to work with. Sellers, have your property featured live on air, creating multiple offers. Buyers, leverage a unique system that gets your offer accepted, never overlooked. Call or text 813-750-0550. 813-750-0550 or ConsumerQB. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at consumerqb.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813 917 1894. All right, welcome back to the Consumer Quarterback Show, helping you win in any marketplace. And uh, we like to, you know, talk about different things affecting the local area businesses, but also on a national level too. If you look at what's happening, uh, we we want to talk to you about supporting the local economy. When you support our local show partners by calling the hotline 813-917-1894, it's an off-air number. You can call or text that line 813-917-1894. 80 different categories, attorney. CPAs, financial advisors, home service providers, training experts. Uh, so many ways we can help you here. And you're supporting like-minded individuals and companies as well when you're supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show online at ConsumerQB.com. Uh, we like to feature our real estate listings as well. And let's see, we've got a property. I want to feature one we haven't done in a while here on the program. Let's let's, let's actually look at the uh, 6361 Highway 301 property there, Nick. Uh, that's the 301 property. It's a commercial property out in Riverview. Uh, currently operating as a U-Haul dealership. you got office space as well, air-conditioned office space, uh, place in the back to uh, park vehicles or have a mechanics-type shop. Uh, almost an acre of land. you got a billboard on the property. It's zoned commercial and it's fenced on a corner lot, 50000 Thousand plus vehicles a day. Six three six one, U.S. Highway three hundred one South in Riverview. Fifty thousand plus vehicles a day going by traffic wise, and you can see all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. So our, our second in a row talking about little leaguers. We did the one about the guy, the uh, batter hugging the pitcher yesterday, and then today's show, uh, little league pitcher from uh, little league uh, leaguer from South Dakota showed his appreciation for his grandpa by dedicating his first ever home run ball uh, to him. There's something special about baseball and the power it has to bring people together. Uh, sometimes it can even bring people to tears which is exactly what happened in in Sioux Falls, uh, South Dakota, when the young boy named Felix hit his first career home run and gave the autograph ball to his grandpa. Felix wrote on the home run ball, Papa, I love you, and feeling best ever, or best feeling ever. Why'd you do that, his grandpa says, holding back tears. Felix responded, because you taught me everything about baseball. So there's a feel-good story of the day and the power of family. And uh, what, a, what an awesome story. Uh, we're in studio here with Brian Gordon from Tactical Society, uh, concealed uh, permit. Uh, he can teach concealed carry. Uh, he's also a Marine, a veteran, served our country, and he has his guns and gars uh, line as well, guns and gars. So uh, what else you want to talk about today, my friend? You got, you know, the, again, the Second Amendment being under attack. Concealed carry is so important for people. What are, what are some of the biggest things that you see and hear from people? Maybe misconceptions or, you know, not understanding. You know, a lot of times it's like, oh, well, it has to be in the glove box and it has yeah. to be three steps away. I mean, there's all these kind of, what do they call them, like wise tales or whatever. Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is is people that don't like guns. There's mm-hmm. some people that say they just don't like guns. Right. Um, that's probably the most often thing I hear. You know, Brian, I, you know, I don't like guns. I'm afraid of guns. Um, and I just tell people, you know, you got a driver's license, right? And they say, yeah. And I said, you know how to operate that car, right? And they say, yes. And I'm like, sometimes you don't like to drive, do you? Right. And like the majority of the time, I don't. Right. So same concept with the firearm. Listen, yep. you don't have to necessarily like it, but when you need to use it, you know how to use it, and, and there it is. You know, right. put it away. You know, you don't have to touch it, but if you need it, right. it's there for you. Right. You know, so... 
that's probably one of the biggest things is just out here is just people that you know are afraid of guns and don't don't like them. Yeah, because yeah. I think that is it's it's a lot about again the family and how, your upbringing. Right? Yeah, like I was grew I grew up in you know a little bit of hunting and fishing and here and there and some of my friends and uh, people that were born more maybe in, in the city and they, you know or whatever it might be. And yeah, they, in a situation where they just they they don't understand them so therefore they don't like them. Yeah, and they don't appreciate. Uh, you know, just look at our country. Look what our country did. Our country came over. You know, these guys come over and say, look, taxation without representation, all these King George. We said, you know what? We are going to stand up and we're going to fight and we're going to create our own country. We're mm-hmm. going to sign this this declaration, putting our lives on the line. And we fought to have our own country. Right. You know, by the way, we eliminated slavery. We went, we did a lot of things. The West has done so much more than any part of the world in that manner. Cause that's a lot of the left to say, Oh, well you had slaves and this and that. Everybody had slaves at that time. That was, you're born into that, mm-hmm. you know? So we, if anything should have credit because we did away with it, you know, but yeah, so guns stand up to tyranny. And then even with your home, you got to protect your home. Yeah. I mean, that's it. That's where you lay your head at, man. If you can't be safe at home, where can you be safe at? Right. Yep. Yeah, just think of, think about what they're doing too. They're buying up farmland, China, Gates, different comp, different uh, you know billionaires buying up farmland. They're choking down the food supply. What's going to happen when Publix? You go to Publix, there's no food, there's no meat, there's no bread. We all know what's going to happen. Exactly. <laughs> so, do you think you want to have a gun then? <laughs> yeah. Do you think you want to yeah. be able to protect your family then? Yeah. You know, what happens when the electricity goes out and they attack our grid? Mm. Right. These are the things people don't think about. They don't. They, they just think that everything's going to go along. All hunky dory, all fine and dandy, right. and then you know it's like, oh no, I'll just I'll go to Publix and I'll buy some lunch meat, you know. Hey man, the Marine Corps they used to say, man, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. There you go. You know, I if like it that. don't happen, it doesn't happen. Yeah, I like that. But if it does, you're ready. All right, so yeah. we we try to stay away from a lot of national you know politics here, but this this last week something crazy happened. I want to play this quick clip uh, from the Morning Wire. Daily Wire spoke to some of the president's supporters who've gathered outside his mar a lago residence in mar a lago this will backfire on them. This is going to oh, energize, oh, the, energize the Republican people, and they're going to get out here and vote. I think they mobilized us tremendously on this. Another supporter said this felt like something that would happen in a communist country like Cuba. My name is Angeli Contreras. My family fled communism 60 years ago. And what's happening in America today is the same thing that destroyed my beautiful country in Cuba. What people need to understand and wake up to is if we don't get up and we don't support our constitutional rights, our children's future, we're going to lose this country to socialism and communism. Open border, southern border, drugs, gangs, uh, the watering down of our currency at at paces no one's ever seen. $23 trillion basically between printed money and the balance sheet, the games they play on the balance sheets. The dollar's the weakest it's ever been. Uh, so many things happening. And then, you know, the, another unprecedented, you're going to raid a former president's home under the guise of some documents or whatever it might be. That's what the news is releasing mm-hmm. now. This is, this is uh, you know, this is war. I mean, you're at, basically out of war already inside inside what's going on in America. Sad. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sad, man. But did they find anything? Has that been reported yet? I haven't heard yet. What they're saying is that maybe he took some documents that were classified or something he wasn't supposed to take. But on the other hand, the flip side of that is that the president has the right to uh, declassify whatever he wants to. So, you know, it's ridiculous, but it's it's something that they should have gotten a search warrant or not a search warrant, a um, a subpoena. You know, right. hey, bring these to court. And we're not going to bust you in your house. And then that's something about also taking making him turn off his security system so the cameras couldn't see what they were doing. Wow. OK, why would you not do that? <laughs> Plus, his, his attorney is supposed to be present during that uh, search before they start digging through things. And, you know, who knows if they planted stuff. But it just shows the desperation of the leftists and what they, they're trying to do right now. But it's just sad. You know, and especially people like you that served our our military. Right. I mean, you put it all on the line. Uh, and, and now you're seeing these different alphabet agencies weaponized against ordinary citizens and in a lot of cases reporters uh, in a lot of cases like James O'Keefe from the uh, uh, James O'Keefe uh, Project Veritas, uh, you know, Rudy Giuliani. Just it's unbelievable. The list goes on and on. Mm. So it's sad. Yeah, man, it is. Uh, I wonder who ordered that. That's my question. Right. Well, it was the they're, they're saying it's the FBI. Um, what was his name? Forgot his name off the top of my head, sure. but they're, but they're, they they were saying that what the White House didn't know. Um, 
Merrick Garland didn't know, but it was the the um, head guy, the uh, FBI. I forgot his name offhand. Myers, maybe I forgot his name. Something okay. Myers. But yeah, you know they got it. They got to make some changes. Let's uh, play a quick clip here. I want to end on a positive note. No, if you're going to experience more Joel of Lundstein. God's favor, you've got to become more favor minded. That means you've got to expect it, and number two, you've got to declare it. Every morning before you leave the house, you should say, Father, thank you that I have your favor. Thank you that I have favor with my boss, my employees. Thank you that my children have favor with their teachers. Thank you that your favor is bringing success into my life. Learn to declare God's favor. It's not enough to just think it. It's not enough to just believe it. Something supernatural happens when we speak it out. That's right. You got to speak it into existence. You got to have action behind that, but you got to declare it, right? So expect God's favor. One of my favorite things I say multiple times throughout the day, uh, I teach my my daughter to say, and soon to be my son once he can start uh, forming sentences. He's mm-hmm. seven months now. But, uh, you know, blessed and highly favored. I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm putting that out there. And I do believe that, you know, I had a praying mom that would pray and she was into church. And I, I believe that the favor passes down generations too. Oh, yeah, it does. You better believe it. My grandfather with the praying man and that's right yeah man it works so it works and you gotta you gotta speak it into existence so there's our positive injection uh for the show brian pleasure having you on check him out online and we had uh martin grammatic on the front end as well with lifeguard imaging please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness and we'll see you next time right here on the consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer quarterback Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Call Brandon Rhymes at 813-917-1894. That's 813-917-1894. Online at consumerqb.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show.